What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and in today's tune-up for what is my like favorite Twitch name I've ever seen, Butter Knife. For Butter Knife's tune-up, we have an account that is almost identical, like in build order, to the video we did earlier in the week, I'll put a link up in the top corner, of the perfect, most optimal build order in our opinion, which I'm going to do a follow-up to that video and actually make a good video of that. Uh, but his account is really, really solid. This is like what everybody should really strive to build. Use this as an example for your account. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, so for Butter Knife of Justice, honestly one of my most favorite names I've ever had from a tier three So. Some questions, we're on Android here, is a newer-ish account, it's not like severely far in the game, overall just at first glance, it looks pretty much on pace to be perfect in reality, or at least good, I mean the Sherlock's a little questionable, a little suspect, but we'll, we'll go into that. Should I buy Punisher with Relics, or should I buy another artifact, if so, what artifact, how should I try beating Broken Spaces 8 and 9, what hero should I build after Sword Flash, and what should my next monster be? Okay, those are all really, really, really good questions. So number one, let's go with what artifact should we purchase? So right now, we do have a pretty solid Punisher staff. Do you need to go up to a Splendid? What do you guys think in chat? I don't think so. I think Radiant for an account like this is fine to have. The extra damage is capped most of the time anyway. You're probably fine. Uh, besides that, you have Antlers, Cane, and it doesn't look like anything else, right? Um, no, just a lot of artifacts. Nothing like premium or good. I think a Radiant is fine. In reality, I think we can all say this at the same time. Probably the best thing to do is start collecting crowns. Even though you have one A and B, I would probably say crowns is definitely what the goal needs to be on this account. Even going for Demon Bells right now is probably not something you need. You're not going to be using Energy Feed anytime soon on this account. Or rather, I should say, you're not going to need Energy Feed anytime soon on this account. I would go for Crown. Just at least build up for your very first Splendid Crown. Yeah, as Crew says, for God's sake, always Crown. Just if, if you have three Crowns and you're like, what should my next artifact be? The answer is still probably just build more Crowns. They're just ridiculously powerful for Sealand. For Vortex, for like everything. They're just so, so good. Anyway, you always need one Splendid A and B for Sealand, says Nick. Eh, this account doesn't, though. This account doesn't, really. Speaking of, I imagine Abyss is probably the only thing that hasn't been touched. So we're at 17, 20, 20, 20, 11, 11. Makes sense because, you know, Russell's going to be your only answer there. It looks like you did properly. You built up the nine-star Russell, and he's just sitting there waiting. This almost looks like what we talked about the other day on the perfect build order for an account. It's, like, really close to that. Um, Like, it's, it's really close. This is almost exactly what I said to build the other day on our live stream, doesn't it? Like, besides maybe the ticks... The Tix was probably instead, you know, like an Eloise, but you're definitely on game. You're you're playing smart. You're not over leveling your lighter dark heroes. You have one to nine star. The rest is just sitting there as food. Um, you're collecting resonant suits of gear when you can, which is good as well. So that is solid. So the only way you are going to be able to finish broken spaces eight and nine is if you make this Delacium. If you have this Delacium and a Tix with your normal PvE damage dealers with Ithaqua, you should be able to get 8 and 9 done. So I would suggest your next build, honestly, after you do Sword Flash, because I imagine you're coming right up to 5 million and you already have a 10-star Shia built. So you're perfectly ready to build your Sword Flash to start pushing in all the other game modes. I would highly suggest investing in a Delacium next. Delacium is great. You already have, what, two extra copies three so you already have a 10 star you only need four more copies of delacium you have some chests if you absolutely need to uh i think everybody in chat can agree to that would probably be the best because then eight and nine will be achievable with your account yeah i know resonance gear is hella expensive it's very expensive 
But even with the heart, I'd probably drop the heart watcher out of Broken Spaces 8 and 9. I mean, you can leave him in. So you're, you're essentially for Broken Spaces going to run Drake, Tix, Delacium, Ithaqua. And then you have two spots open. You can probably still throw in the Heart Watcher and probably the Ignis to give CC immunity just so she can't get dazzled and stuff. Not like it really matters, but you could. But yeah, I mean, definitely Delacium. That's your next build right there. What? And that's exactly your next question. What hero should I build after your Sword Flash? Delacium. What monster should be next? So I'm hoping, yeah, we see some good monsters already. We have a maxed out Phoenix and we have a maxed out deer. Okay. Uh, personally, the lion. I think the lion little Simba here is probably going to be your next best bet. He's very well rounded. I think he is honestly a better version of the deer nowadays, unless you absolutely want the uh the block chance but most people don't really need the block chance it's more of like a luxury or a little helpful if you have like an eloise but you don't have an eloise but what i will say is you probably have yep you're in tower of dreams you are at death 100 the ticks will be good for a while to get your sword flash and things like that after a certain point you should be able to replace him if you want to uh, you don't have too many tickets, so yeah, Broken Space is 9. This is going to be a huge issue until you get that Delacium. Besides that, though, I would say this is a near-perfect account. Like, seriously, this is a near-perfect account. Pen. Nice. Nice. Thank you for that resub. Five months. Um, Yeah, I mean, the only thing I don't like is a Sherlock, but the fact that you are building Sword Flash means you're going to want to start building up some more support heroes here once you have the sword flash and the delacium you can either choose to go for the light faction and get sea land 20 done in light with your rustle because then that that literally is like the last thing you need you already have everything else done um well here's a quick note quick note before you turn this shia into sword flash shia put v4 on her Get your uh, get your Sherlock with the Punisher staff. Actually, it might be better with the with the Sherlock. I don't know, but use the E5 Shia with your Sherlock. Get Sea Land 20 done, then convert her over to Sword Flash. Make sure you get the Sea Land 20 done first because that is very very important. And then after that, you can just start working through your other factions. Everything else is good, besides Abyss and Light. Once you get into Abyss, your V4 Delacium should handle it just fine. So, yeah, not too bad, especially for a VIP 5 account. So, if you have any other questions, definitely hit me up. But this account is looking near perfect and honestly, almost exactly what our optimal build order would be.